to our tier two update. Um, I am Rachel Osterling. I am the central area lead for the tier two team. I'm going to give you guys a couple of updates here. Some of the topics that we're going to cover today. I'm going to update you guys on our registered behavioral technician training. I think I've talked about this before. Um, we've had to unfortunately reschedule our, our training date for this. So I just want to give you guys an update on that. We have some more upcoming um, podcasts for the tier two team. And I want to give you some links for that. Then we have our 2023 workshop updates. I want to give you some information on what our, our workshops are going to be for this year. And then we'll talk about the workshop schedule. I have one of our tools that we're creating, which is the tier two screener. I will show you a visual of what that looks like and how we're going to be using that screener tool. I'm going to go over some of the RPC responsibilities while we're doing the emergency transition. And then the last thing I want to update you guys is on the Missouri statewide positive behavioral supports presentation that myself and a couple of my team members are going to be doing coming up in May of this year. All right, the first thing that we're gonna go over is the registered behavioral technician competency check. Um, we had this scheduled, I think, a couple times in December and then again in the beginning of January, but due to illnesses, we've had to keep pushing this back. So we do have this scheduled. Hopefully we don't have to reschedule it. It's gonna be held on the 8th of February at 10 a.m. and we're gonna have that at our central office in Jefferson City. So with this training, um, this is going to provide the RPCs with competency. Um, it'll help them develop and maintain their skills as consultants, which they are, so that they can better support our providers who support our individuals on a daily basis. And this will also help provide them with the tools and skills that they need to um, provide some guidance and conduct the workshops and trainings and some coaching we're going to be doing as we move, move forward with our tier two risk prevention efforts. And then this will also help them provide the necessary interventions to help our individuals. Um, help our individuals have a more consistent living environment and more successful everyday life. So some interesting um, information I want to share with you guys. The RPCs do have the opportunity to be certified after we complete the competency check. So if they want to get certified, that certification will be good for the next 12 months after they pass that test. So that will be good for a whole calendar year. And I think as of right now, we have about half of our team that is going to pursue that certification. So we have nine RPCs, so about half of them are going to pursue that. So that's exciting. Our next slide, we're going to go over Carl Honecker's um, podcast that he's been working on. I think right now he's got a total of three podcasts that are live. Um, he is working on getting some of those DD blasts sent out as soon as those podcasts are live and available for everybody. So you guys should get those dings. And then we're also going to put a notification on our tier two website as well. Um, so we'll have a, a link to the podcast there too. So in his most recent um, podcast, Carl interviewed Dr. Chad Lewis. He is with Compass Health out of Rolla, Missouri, and they discussed, um, sorry, their discussion was centered on knowing when individuals are moving between the three tiers and what teams can do to better assist them through our, through their discussion. They talked about their whole, his holistic approach, which was portrayed with some strong emphasis on collecting data and the use of the tools of choice training, which I think some most of you guys are pretty familiar with. 
And there is a link here on this page. And I think Kat, you should have a copy of that link if you want to put that link to Carl's podcast in the chat box. That would be helpful. And that will take you directly to the podcast. You can subscribe to it if you want. If you don't, that's fine. You can still listen to it. Next thing we're going to talk about the workshops that we have scheduled for this upcoming year. So these workshops are actually going to start in March. We were hoping we could get them um, started in February, but we had to push that back just a little bit. So our lead, our state lead for the tier two team, Re Evans, she is working on getting the schedule set up right now. Um, once she has this completed, she's going to add that schedule to our website. So it's going to be very similar as last year. You just go to the tier two website, click on the workshops, and that will direct you direct you to the Eventbrite website, and that's where you will actually register. Um, and I think, Kat, you also have the link to the tier two website if you want to put that in the chat as well. Um, some additional workshop updates. Unfortunately, we're not going to have the transition training workshop on that schedule for this year. But if you feel that your um, TCM agency is in need of this transition um, training, please reach out to us and we can offer that to you guys. We're just not going to have that on the schedule. Um, you can just send us an email to the tier two at dmh.mo.gov if you want to request this training. And next thing we're going to talk about is the schedule. So you'll see here we have about three topics that we're going to put on a schedule of rotation for our workshop. Like I mentioned on the previous slide, these are going to start in March. And Re is working on getting that schedule put out there for everybody. We have a how to use the tier two screener and a risk assessment tool. And I will show you what the tier two screener looks like on an upcoming slide. Then we'll offer the check in, check out. And then the third one that we're going to offer is the social emotional learning um, do it yourself modules. With the tier two screener, this screener is going to help providers identify potential um, resources for the teams so that we can match specific interventions based on the reasons for the behavior of concern. With the checkout check in or check in check out, this is a system where individuals and the mentor will work really close together to help improve someone who may be struggling with some social interactions and exhibiting some behavioral concerns or some additional needs that they might have to provide some motivation for them. The last one is the social emotional learning, which is the skill building. This is a evidence based curriculum that we're going to have that embeds techniques to promote positive behavior and learning. Um, which utilizes several tools to address some of the cognitive flexibility deficits that we are seeing. This next slide here is the tier 2 screener. This is an. This is an example of what the screener will look like, and I think Re is going to have this posted to our tier two website, but this is also going to be built into our red cap system. So this is here. These are the examples of some of the questions that are going to be built in to the red cap. This screener tool is for providers to complete. So residential providers and some of the questions are guided towards them. The provider will be able to, sorry, the provider will do the screener to help them access any additional resources that we can provide to them. It will help direct them to which tier two workshop would benefit them the most when they're looking at selecting an individual and it will help them work with an individual who is currently in crisis or experiencing some of those high needs. So 
So you'll notice that there's two sections on here and it might be a little blurry. So I apologize, but it is um, broken up into two sections, clarifying situational questions and then the identifying the problem. So the top section is just for clarifying questions to link the provider or the team to other resources that we feel might be needed. Um, the bottom section has more detailed questions, which will drive more specific resources and workshops for that provider agency. The next update here is the emergency transition responsibilities. This is what the RPCs are going to be responsible for, and we've kind of broken it up into four parts here. Number one, the RPC will consult with the SC team and advise if whether that provider that is wanting to provide service for an individual, if they are a good match and they can benefit that person. So we're providing the consultation and providing our recommendation. Number two, um, the RPC will provide some temporary resources for those individuals that are in a jail or a hospital setting. Um, then that RPC will recommend the tools training along with some of our tier two workshops. The third one, the RPC will complete the screener tool and which is the screener tool that we just I just showed on the previous page. And that RPC will work with that residential provider to prepare them to support that individual. And then the fourth step here, based off of the assessment results, the RPC will identify any additional resources that we can link to that provider to give them some extra support. And the next update I wanted to give here is the Missouri Statewide Positive Behavioral Supports Summit. They have a summit at the end of the school year um, in May. I think it's the last couple days of May and the first day of June. Um, so last year, Carl, my counterpart, Carl Honiger and I had the opportunity to present a poster and it was approved for this summit. And while we were there, um, we made some connections and we were invited back to do a breakout session presentation. So myself, Kathleen Deppler and Melantha Witherspoon, they're gonna be joining me in that breakout session. So Kathleen Deppler, she is the tier one director and then I'm a, a lead on the tier two team, and then Melantha Witherspoon, she is a behavioral analyst on the tier three team. So we'll have representation from each tier and we'll be presenting at that um, summit in May. And those are all the updates that I have for you guys today. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, Put them in the chat. I will go ahead and go through some of these. And if you guys have any additional questions, you can also email us at the tier two at dmh.mo.gov. I'm going to scan through here because I think there might be some questions in here real quick. I don't see any questions in there. Kat, do you? No, there were no questions. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for attending. And then we will have our next um, tier two webinar the last Friday of February. And I can't remember that date. I thought I wrote it down. Do you have that date, Kat? Mm -hmm. Give me a moment, I'll look it up. I'm sorry, I thought I had it written down on my notes. So that is gonna be the 24th of February at 1030. I apologize for that. 
So our next webinar is going to be February 24th, which is a Friday at 1030.